Hi, good morning. You are welcome to my channel, Oil and Gas Knowledge Hub. This is point number 16 in our uh, shadow activities. We may call turn around also. Today we are just going to discuss about break open a man way of process equipment. Remember, in oil and gas, there are lot of things will happen. Lot of process equipments are there. And we are going to discuss about process equipment manuals, how to open safely and securely. This is today's topic. Maybe this video may take long time, but I will restrict to maximum 5 to 10 minutes. Maybe a couple of videos will be uploaded in continuous with the this week. Okay. Because long time, um, more than half an hour, uh, maybe one hour I'll say today. So, go through all the videos and hope that it is most useful for the people who wish to work in refinery, island, and shutdown activities. Okay, this presentation on refinery, turnaround, shutdown, break up and the man way of process equipment. Opening of a man way and process equipment. You will find this type of man ways mostly on heat accidents also. Not only tanks and pressure vessels, you will find like this on heat accidents also. Okay. What are the requirements? In the hydrocarbon area during the shutdown activities, you should have conducted a site meeting during opening, before opening, prior to opening the manway. For that purpose, the team leader should discuss how to open this, what are the requirements. Permit to work system is required. PPE, right tools. You remember this word, right tools. Right tools means here why I am specifically, specifically telling that uh, right tools. You should use only inch spanners for inch bolts. Okay. You should not use millimeter spanners. It leads to accidents. To prevent the accidents, the right tools are important. All inch spanners and sludge hammers. You know the sludge hammer. You see the diagrams earlier I explained what is sludge hammer in my previous videos. Torquing tools. Okay, depends on the person what type torquing tool you are using, what is the high torque values are required as per the design. Wire brushes. Once opening, after opening that, you have to clean with wire brushes. A guy rope. Guy rope means it is, it shall be tied with the man way, one of the hole, shut bolt hole to pull back, okay, half cut drum to store all shut bolts and nuts. The half cut drum means whatever the shut bolts you are removing from the man way break up joints, those things, those shut bolts shall be stored in the half cut drum preferably in a solvent. You clean with all shut bolts with rust oil and WD-40 or rust cleaner. Any rust cleaner. You should clean. Okay. What do you spray on rusted bolts to clean? Prior to unbolt, use WD-40 or acetone on all shut bolts within 
penetrate. Hot bolting to be carried out on all flange joints, bolted manways. Prior to opening a manway, we should visually check all the stud bolts, what is the condition, and it is mandatory, make it mandatory to spray some solvent, okay, maybe WD-40, whatever it is, some penetrate, because some stud bolts are stuck up with corrosive because of uh, water splashing, because of uh, moisture, stud bolts will get damaged, rusted. So this rusted bolts difficulty to remove. If you try sometimes they may break also. So that's why all man-based stud bolts shall be hot bolting to be carried out. Hot bolting means the meaning of hot bolting before entering in the field, once it is ready to drain all liquids, when the process in progress, that time, that means prior to shut down, you have to do hot bolting. You remove one bolt, space, as a train WD-40 and put it back, tight it, opposite, opposite bolts in the sequence. Okay? Simply apply the pantry. Spray over the affected nuts and bolts. Then tap them lightly using a hammer. Okay, using small uh, hammer. Okay, ball pin hammer, a sludge hammer, whatever. It is. This will help the product seep into the nuts and bolts fittings, allowing you to remove the stuck portions. So that's what I have discussed. Is it clear? Stud bolts and nuts. Selection services versus grade. What type of temperature? Which material? Flange material, stud bolt material, heavy axe steel nuts. What are the required in the oil and gas? Okay. Why I am telling oil and gas? This video is meant for mostly oil and gas, petrochemicals, fertilizers, any area. Similar equipment will be there. There is no much difference. So, you cannot say that all bolts are same temperatures. High temperature, low temperature, that, like that many depends on the operational conditions. Operational parameters, temperature, pressure. Okay. So, minus 195 to 102 degrees Celsius. We should use flying material, ASTDA, 182 grade, 304, F304, F304L, F316, F316L, F321, F3 force. Stud bolts for all this type of materials you should use A320 grade B8 class 2. Okay, what is class 2 or class 1? We will discuss next videos. Or already previous we have previous videos we have discussed last. So you can check all the videos. Heavy axe steel nuts it should be A194 grade 8 A. Similarly, washers also. Okay. This opposite. If it is minus 101 degrees Celsius to minus 47 degrees Celsius, again grade will change. It depends on the operating parameters, design temperatures, and this material will change. You can go through this table one by one. Okay. So the thing is you should work safely and prior to removing any stud bolts, you should do hot bolting. You remember always this. Okay. Stud bolt versus stud versus bolt. The common question is what is the difference between stud and bolts? It's an interview question also. Many interviews people will ask. Maybe it is simple answer but people cannot answer because lack of awareness. Okay. Okay. Thank you my friends. Your knowledge is your asset. This is Om Namah Shiva. I just am sharing my experience with you guys. Maybe it is useful for new generation engineers who wish to work in oil and gas and who wish to learn and work with the oil and gas. It is maybe useful also for the senior people who are in the office and planning people also. It is they should understand. Then only practical work they should understand. Then only they can be profitable. Okay, guys.
Thank you very much for your support. Hope my video is very clear. Next videos we will see point number seventeen. Next my videos. Till such time, have a good day. Any doubts, write in the comment box. I will reply to you. Any doubts related to oil and gas? It may be rotating equipment. It may be static equipment. It may be piping uh, or pipelines. You are welcome to contact me. Definitely, I will respond to you. Have a good day.